It is a school. Um, we can see that uh, a lot of learning is going on. It's very different to our own system. I come from a very traditional school with classrooms and closed doors and walls around the classrooms and discrete lessons in every subject. Um, and, and this is completely different. The children have a lot more freedom. They're able to choose what they do more. There's a lot of emphasis on the different intelligences and children using their particular strengths in order to access the curriculum. Um, but yes, it's a school. Jeg bliver tit mødt øh, af spørgsmålet fra forældre, jamen den her skole ligner jo ikke en skole. Og jeg spørger altid tilbage, jamen, hvordan skal en skole se ud? I mit hoved skal den se ud som en arbejdsplads. Og hvordan ser forældrenes arbejdsplads ud? Hvordan ser den moderne arbejdsplads ud i 2000-tallet? Den ligner måske lidt mere denne her skole som en almindelig arbejdsplads i det samfund, som de her børn skal ud i på et eller andet givet tidspunkt. Så derfor er rammerne naturligvis meget, meget betydningsfulde. Og, og rammerne på den her skole er med til at give os en masse muligheder. Så mange muligheder, at vi har svært ved at se, at der er nogle begrænsninger overhovedet. Så sammenhængen mellem pædagogik og bygning, og mellem bygning og pædagogik, skal være der. Og jeg tror, man skal tænke pædagogik først, og så bygning bagefter fordi på den måde får det den rette sammenhæng. It feels more like home and I think the children feel as though they have more control over their environment. Uh, they feel that they can use the environment rather than being restricted by it. I think it helps them to feel comfortable. Uh, the children are are lying on settees or working on the floor. There's plenty of space for them to work. Um, they can go and have something to eat when they need it. Each home area has got a kitchen. Uh, it's made to feel homely. They have candles on the tables and they're able, they are allowed to arrange the furniture the way that they want it to be. So I think it gives them some element of control. The children here show a lot of confidence. You know, they're very comfortable with themselves, I think, and having had to make choices and to think about who they are and how they learn, uh, I think does affect their, their personality and how they're going to be able to cope. Hvis man skal i gang med skoleudvikling og skoleudbygning, så er det rigtig, rigtig vigtigt at holde fast i visionen. Hvad er det, vi gerne vil opnå? Og dertil kræves politisk mod. Dertil kræves naturligvis også forvaltningsmæssig opbakning. Dertil kræves også ledelsesmæssig kunskab og ledelsesmæssig dygtighed. Og så kræves der pædagogisk nytænkning. For mig er det ingen forudsætning, at der er en bygning. For mig er det en forudsætning, at der er en vilje til en forandring. Men en god bygning gør livet væsentligt lettere og gør udviklingsprocessen væsentligt lettere. Ja.